good morning everyone so today it's nearly spring well it's already spring so whenever i get near the time for spring i always get um kind of like very handsy i really want to clean i want to reorganize everything <laughs> And I know that it's not possible to reorganize everything, but something has been bugging me lately. And this is it. Angers. Like angers. I always tend to just keep the same anger after we buy clothes and just keep it like that. And it's been really bugging me. So I went to Walmart and picked up these angers. And I got them. There's like 18 pieces. And I got it for like a dollar seventy-seven. I'm going to change out all the angers then i'm gonna try coordinating the clothes and first i wanted to coordinate the clothes like this i want to have like long sleeves and short sleeves and sweaters and church clothes and stuff like that like dresses and then skirts and hoodies and things of that sort but i don't think that will work and the reason why that will not work is because usually after we're doing laundry i load up the laundry and I, you know, I take it out of the dryer. Me and the girls, we take it out of the dryer. We're taking it out of the dryer. What we now do is the kids now sort their own clothes into their baskets and take it to their room and then they sort it onto hangers. If I did it the way that I wanted to do it, where I was coordinating by long sleeves and short sleeves and whatsoever, it's going to be really hard for them to keep up with that system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do colors you know that like the main colors so for example here we have a lot of yellows so I'm gonna keep that with the yellow this shirt has pink on it but it mainly has yellow so I'm gonna keep that with the yellow and I think the girls will be able to sort it better and I have the reds here and the pinks and stuff like this can go in either way so I think that will really help out and I really hope that they can keep up with this system because They've been sorting their laundry now for over a year and they're doing really well. But I think this will even make it more fun. So I hope it works. <laughs> so after I'm done with one room, I'll go to the next room and then move on to the next place that we need to organize. It's not like the house is messy or anything, but every spring I have to do this. So I'm done and these are all the angles that I got rid of. And now the clothes are much more organized you can see that all the angles look the same except for when we get here to the skirts and the skirts um yeah i'm gonna have to get angles i didn't think about that i'm gonna get, going to get angles that are for skirts you know they have this clip things but as you can see we have the pinks and the reds then the white the yellows, the greens, the blue, bluish things, and the black, the grays. And over here, we have the dresses. So I just put the dresses right here. And we have in this corner here, it's kind of dark, but we have all this, you know, four kind of four and things for special occasions. And those I just tucked in right over here. So it looks much more organized compared to the last time that the clothes were there. And so that is done. It took me an hour to do. I want to give a shout out to Do It On A Dime. She was the one that kind of inspired me to do this. And I'm going to go take a break. And I need to get more angles because I bought three packs of 18 of this. And yeah, I used it all guess who is not getting any more clothes this year so at least that's done and I did the shoes also made them more organized and yeah that's laundry so there's nothing up there I'm probably gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do up here I'm not yet sure so a quick important tip I have this um, ink hook over the door things so this is where I usually put like our scarves and our belts and also i always have one hanger over here and the reason why i always have one hanger over here is that so that before she goes to bed she picks out her clothes and she can you know for the next day and then she can just have it so that in the morning when she wakes up she just grabs her clothes and she's ready to go so that's a quick tip something that you can do to keep things much more organized and moving along <music> So 
so it's always annoying when you get boots and then they start to slouch like that and they don't stand up right so what I'm doing is I'm taking this um, pool noodle and you can get this anyway I got mine from Dollar Tree and it's um, it was a dollar <laughs> and all I do is I cut it to the size of the length of this thing of the boot and then I stick it right inside and that helps the boots to stand upright so is it a that or this which one do you prefer to arrange scarves what I do is I take um, this uh, just shower cotton rings and I take the shower cotton rings and I just loop them onto my closet bottom and that is what I use to arrange my scarves so majority of my products that I use every day is on this shelf right here